Well, hello there, everybody. Steve out here in the uh, Everglades again. Uh, one of the reasons I love coming out here in the Everglades is just because of the sheer size of this region of our country. It's, it's huge, it's wide, it's expansive, seems to be filled with endless things to see, endless forms of life. Being out here, I suppose, just tends to open up my mind, to get my own mind to expand a bit, to think bigger and better thoughts than normally go through my brain. In fact, lately I've been, I've been contemplating the fact that as Christians, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You might know Philippians 4.3, where Paul refers to people whose names are in the Book of Life. And Hebrews 12.23 talks about the assembly of the firstborn who, en who are enrolled in heaven. That, that's the church of Jesus. I mean, can you get your head around this? I can't. God wrote my name in his book? I mean, is that even possible? What does it mean? Uh, when did he write the book? How did my name get in the book? Why would my name be in the book? I mean, what first hits me is that if God wrote my name in his book, then salvation must originate not with me or in anything I did, but totally because of God himself. I guess that's why the Old Testament always says salvation is of the Lord. Sure doesn't say salvation is of me. I never deserve this act of love to be getting my name in the book of life. I mean, why would he include me? Well, I guess purely because his uh, mercy is bigger and better than anything out here in the Everglades, even though he made all of this. It's, uh, it but points to the greatness and grandeur of, of God. But then I guess I've got to ask the question, if he put my name in the book of life, when? When? When, when I first believed, when I first became a Christian? No, because the Bible says before the foundation of the world, God wrote the book of life, put my name in the book of life. So it couldn't have been then. Was it maybe when Jesus died on the cross for me or for you? Well. No, because he died in time and in history and before the foundation of the world means before time. So that what it's pointing to is the fact that he and his son contracted together to mount the greatest rescue mission that could ever been mounted to come back here and to convert and save those who are written in the Lamb's book of life before time. In fact, the book of Revelation 21, 27 says, those who are in heaven are there because their names were written in the Lamb's Book of Life. In other words, God put my name in there not because I believed, but so that I would believe. In other words, I now believe because he put my name in there first. We believe because he first loved us and gave us all that is needed to believe and to keep believing until we get home. Well, all I know is, is my mind is truly challenged, expanded, enlarged when I think about something that I can't fully comprehend. All I know is that Jesus said, rejoice that your name is written in the book of life.